I'm Jamie, this is Woody. Welcome to our house. We are Barry, Ben, Jamie and Mike, the guys from Sorted Food. When it comes to cooking, everyone likes different things. So today, join us in one of our homes to see what we love to eat and why. Get ready, because we're making it personal. Okay, all right. I love a good curry, and chicken tikka masala is one of my favorites. And apparently I'm not alone, because it's one of the UK's favorite dishes. Yep, and we're gonna hopefully do it justice to the restaurant favorite at home by making some skewers chicken uh, with a marinade of yogurt. We're gonna serve with saffron rice and an amazing chicken tikka masala sauce. The best thing is Ben knows I like it really spicy, so this is gonna be great. Ish. So, first up, we're going to do the marinade, which is yoghurt, so that's going to go into there. And then all you need to do is mix into that, Jay, our tikka spice blend, Yep. juice of a lemon, and the first of our tips to make this as close to the restaurant classic as possible is this. You always need to add salt, but we've got a smoked sea salt. So it's got the same kind of smoky flavour that you might get from cooking in a tandoor. Yep. I'm guessing you haven't got a tandoor in this kitchen. Uh, no, it is quite a small kitchen, there isn't a tandoor. We've got a grill, which you've already admitted isn't the most fiery of things. But the hotter the grill, the better. But this basically gives you that smoky flavour you get if you had a clay tanned or oven over charcoal. So a generous pinch of that. And that's it. Mix it all up. And into all of that yoghurt marinade, we'll add all of our chicken thighs. So these are just pieces of chicken, thigh, off the bone, cut off the sinew. That's all going to go in there. Lovely. So we've got the chicken tikka bit under control, but yep. to get the masala flavour, it's all about the right balance of spices. So into a pan that's already starting to warm up, whole spices first. So if you can put two cloves, four cardamom pods, and two cinnamon sticks, and put that into the oil, just let them warm through and begin to heat before you add in all of the other stuff. Two diced onion, a knob of ginger, fresh green chilli, and two cloves of garlic. So if you can start to peel and crush those, already can you smell those whole spices? Yeah. The cinnamon, the cardamom, Go. and the clove. Next up, we add in all of our onion, the ginger, and the garlic and chilli that you've done, Jay. Yep. All goes in, they need a good five minutes. Don't rush that, slow, gentle heat for five minutes so they're nice and soft before you move on. In the meantime, we can hack up a few tomatoes. I think it's worth pointing out at this stage, like, it's easy and you might see Ben or another chef chop stuff up really small and really quickly, but it doesn't matter. It definitely doesn't matter in this recipe because no. we're going to blend the whole thing up at the end anyway, well, so, you so you get a nice that. smooth sauce. As we wait for the onion to soften, we can skewer our chicken. Yeah. Now, ideally, you'd leave this for a good number of hours, possibly even overnight, because the yogurt and the lemon tenderize the chicken, get the full flavour. But for now, we're just going to skewer it up. And this is one of those jobs you can get done way in advance, especially if you've got people coming round. I mean, we're always round here having curry, aren't we? The boys absolutely love coming round for a curry. In fact, I find it hard to get rid of them. We even had to put them in a book because they keep coming around so much. We I mean, have a look at this. There they are. It's Mike, John, eating curry. And there's the rest of us. Look how happy we are. Eating curry. In my house. If you want to see more pictures, there may or may not be a book on iBooks called Food With Friends. You'll probably get it there. As we know, curry is all about flavour. We've added in two levels, and the third is our dry spices. Now what have we got here? We've got paprika, ground coriander, ground cumin and turmeric. Four different spices, three different colours. Now what I found out recently, you know tikka masala is usually like bright red. A lot of that is potentially down to food colouring. It's not sort of a natural colour that the curry should be. Well it can be a natural food colouring, Yeah. but it is certainly a, a food colouring and it's in there because people presume it should be I red. No idea. So ours is going to be reddish, but not bright red. And ours comes from fresh tomatoes, some tomato puree, and then the final bit, chicken stock cube. We'll add the stock in a minute, and a handful of cashew nuts, and that makes it really creamy. When yeah. they're cooked down, they blend out. Absolutely amazing. There is no smell in it yet, but when there is, you'll be able to tell that this smells incredible. In fact, the house is going to smell of curry for the next few days. Oh, hi. Now one of the things I really love is my cars. I've had a few over the years. There's been Minis, there's been MX-5s, there's been a few other things, but one of the things I've never done is crash one. Unlike Barry, who's crashed five. <laughs> to our curry paste, we're now gonna add a big mug of water. So let that bubble away for about half an hour while all the other bits come together. So that's basmati rice. Simply boil in some saffron salted water nice. for 10 minutes. Our chicken under a very hot grill for five or six minutes, turning it occasionally. And you want the yogurt to kind of char and yeah. burn. That's the amazing flavour. But for now, while we wait for all this to come together, one man thing to another, curry to cars. You're a bit of a pet player, don't you? Oh, yes I am. Now for this presentation of my favourite cars for my ownership, I'm going to start you with the popped up 
just pops up just like that. It's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> a really good ragging around the car park. <laughs> anyway, it stank for weeks, and when I sold her, the guy actually asked me, does this smell to you? I was like, oh, it's absolutely fine. Anyway, he bought her and I never heard another word. <laughs> anyway, that was my cars. I hope you enjoyed that. Sauce, chicken, rice, all done. All I'm gonna do now is fish out things like the cinnamon sticks and the cloves, and we'll blend it up to a nice smooth sauce. And as the nuts blend, that's what gives you a nice creamy consistency. Add in as well some fresh coriander. There we go, the last ingredients go into there. Lug of cream. If you have any concerns, your chicken hasn't got quite the colouring you want, so some of these are absolutely beautiful with that charring, and that's what you want. Some of them haven't. Just hover it over the gas, and you can just get that final bit of burnt charring. You do get extra bits of flavour from that charring as well, don't you? It's the burnt yogurt, and all the spice is sort of caramelised. Doesn't work quite so well if, uh, if you've got an induction hot. No, it wouldn't work if we were in the studio. Mm. <laughs> right, in the meantime, you plate up some of our rice into yeah. one of those bowls. Look at that. That's the consistency you're looking for, something that is just rich, kind of holds its form on the back of a spoon. A couple of our chicken skewers. There we go, one of the nation's favourite, more importantly, the one you asked for, a personal curry for you, Jay, chicken tikka masala. Sorted. Mm. Oh, Ben, we've outdone ourselves. I would be so happy if this turned out in a restaurant. Now, to get that flavour, there's quite a few spices and ingredients going on, so if you want all the details, as ever, there is a link down below. But this is my favourite curry, but I'd love to hear what is yours. <laughs>